Hi there everyone, first things first, Happy New Year and I hope you all had a good break, great Christmas and whatever else, welcome to 2013. First things first, sorry I haven't made a video in, well, weeks really, I just haven't really got around to it over the Christmas break, I've been so damn busy seeing family, friends, all that sort of thing, I really did not have time to make a video quite honestly. But yeah, I have one more to make before I'm going to get into 2012 lists, which are literally right around the corner, I'll probably have them up, hopefully tomorrow. We'll see how things go. But um, again, just before I get into this video, go make sure you go and enter my vinyl competition. I'm giving away a Code Orange Kids vinyl, this one right here. If you want to have a look inside of it, it's actually a white vinyl. Um, I open it and want to show you it on the actual giveaway video. I'll leave a link in the description box. But seriously, who doesn't like free vinyls? So get on that straight away. All you've got to do is comment. Anyway, today I am basically making a double live review. Um, I went to see Anthony Shikari at the Roundhouse in London, in Camden, and also um, at Norwich UEA. Um, both times I was supported by Cantspats and also Engineers. The Roundhouse date was on the 17th of December and the Norwich date was on the 20th of December, so these are quite a while away now. To kick open both shows was Engineers. Engineers I had not previously heard of, um, and I wasn't too sure what they would sound like or how they would go down before they hit the stage. Before they actually got on stage, I had a rather interesting setup, really. They had a guitar being sound checked, a bass being sound checked, um, a whole sort of computer setup that you get in a lot of electronic products, two mics, a drum kit, and also, weirdly enough, a separate set of bongos, which was kind of interesting. From the second they hit the stage, you could tell they were very sort of a very professional, clean cut act. The front man being the MC and also the singer were both very professional in the way they did everything and interacted incredibly nicely and got the crowd very, very pumped. Um, you could definitely tell they won over the crowd both times I saw them. Although I will say, at the Norwich date, I saw pretty much one or two songs and you could tell it was going to be very much a similar sort of set because we actually arrived there late in the end. Either way, musically they drew from a fair few sources, they drew from dubstep um, and other electronic genres such as drum and bass and trance as well, but it was definitely a lot more rocked up in a sort of pendulum or chase and status way. Like I said before, they did really kind of win over the crowd and um, really get them pumped, which is what a spot act should do. All in all, I thought they were really good. Next up was Cansvats. Now Cansvats are a band I have seen a whole bunch of times. The Norwich UBA show was my 10th time seeing them just this year. Admittedly, I've only seen them this year, but still. And also, six of those shows were all in one day around London, but regardless, they pretty much had the same show as usual. A very high-energy punk show that was incredibly enjoyable to watch, so it's fun to see them sort of run around, or more specifically Liam run around and pump up the crowd and go through their song. Cantabats are quite honestly one of those bands that are so consistent live, I could never see them being bad or amazing. They're always just sort of very good. I will say their show certainly loses something when it comes to larger stages as opposed to small venues like I saw them at the Pentagram tour on. However, the actual set list was a mix of sort of all of their material really, um, taking a lot from How Destroyer, there were some tracks from their third album, I always forget what it's called, Bears, Mares, Scraps and Bones, I believe, but don't quote me on that. Um, they also played Moni Hawk, opening with it at the Roundhouse show and also the Norwich show. The only difference between sets is that they played Drunken Physics at Norwich and not at Roundhouse. Um, I wasn't there for the whole of their set at Norwich, so I don't know if they kept everything else the same, but I'm pretty sure they did. Um, a real cloud crowd pleaser and one that is uh, pretty much every count of that show was Sabotage, which I personally think is an absolutely fantastic cover of the original Beastie Boys song, Sabotage. It's just a really, really nice take on the song, and like I said, it always goes down a treat live, and the crowd seems to really like them. All in all, a decent show both times from Cantabats. Now, Enter Shikari are undoubtedly the band that both times the crowd were there to see. Again, at both shows, they came on with sort of these huge LED pillars, and at the top of each one, there was a light triangle, very similar to the... Um, front cover of the latest album, Flash Flood of Colour, and also very similar to the lights used in many of their videos, like Snake Pit, and also arguing with thermometers. Before they actually came on the stage, they played this kind of pre-recorded narrator who would kind of tell you how much time you had before the band came on. He would also play some like house music, dubstep, trance, and just other electronic music genres and just tracks to keep the crowd sort of interested I guess and it was a nice little addition it's the kind of thing Shikari always go out their way to do and do very well in what the narrator actually did was kind of totally let you know that they were coming on in 10 minutes at 5 minutes and then 4, 3, 2, 1 kind of thing and it worked really really nicely it just added a nice atmosphere to show 
but it also got people dancing for hands of the tracks that were playing so it was an interaction with the band in a sense i guess now admittedly m shikari are a band that i will pretty much always love seeing i always think they're really really fun live act really energetic put tons of charisma that sort of thing into their shows but at the roundhouse i did think for the first time at a shikari show i was feeling a tad bored because I felt the band were just a little bit lacklustre, there was not as much energy as I'm used to. There was still, sure, all the best stage bands are, they played fairly tight, even though I think that M. Shikari are a band that have gotten very big, and considering how big they are, they're really not that tight. Um, if you look at other bands that are their size, I mean, they're probably going to be looking at headlining festivals relatively soon. And if you look at other bands at that level, they're far tighter than Shikari, but Shikari have always made up with it by putting a lot of energy in, a lot of charisma, a lot of sort of character to their act. But like I said, I just felt like it was a tad lacklustre at this show, but having said that, it was still a decent show. The Norwich show, however, was in freak impeccable. I get the feeling they were more pumped to play, because it was the last date of the entire tour, and um, one of the last dates they're playing this, well, last year, really. At the Norwich show, you had all the members climbing up the LED pillars and just generally going nuts and being all over the stage at once. The only difference in terms of set list between both the sets was the fact that at the Roundhouse show, they ended on Zonked, whereas at the Norwich show, they ended the, f the first set on Zonked and then played the encore, ending on OK Time for Plan B, which admittedly went down really well with me because I am a huge fan of that song. In fact, it's my favourite Shikari song. However, I will say both nights were total parties. Every band really sort of gave their all and made sure to put on a really, really great show, which was really nice to see. And to be honest, there are just not that many bands that can put on parties like Cans, Bats and Ender Shikari do. All in all, I felt Engineers were absolutely great and deserve a 6.5 to a 7 for their show at the Roundhouse. Like I said, I didn't see their show at Norwich, so I can't judge it, but it looked more or less the same. Cans, Bats, both times I saw them were as good as um, each show, and I'd give them a 6.5 to a 7 as well for both shows, like I said. Ender Shikari, for the Roundhouse show, I'd give them a 7 to a 7.5. For the Norwich show, which I thought was a hell of a lot better, I'd give them an 8 to an 8.5. If you was at any of the shows on this tour or have seen any of these bands or whatever, make sure to comment below and let me know what you thought of these bands live or just what your opinion on them is in general. And make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys and girls later.